Vincent van Gogh's life. Vincent van Gogh is widely regarded as one of the most influential and iconic painters in history. His unique style, characterized by bold colors and sweeping brushstrokes, has inspired countless artists and art lovers alike. But while his paintings continue to captivate audiences today, Van Gogh's life was a tumultuous one, marked by poverty, mental illness, and a deep sense of isolation. Van Gogh was born in the Netherlands in 1853, the son of a Protestant minister. As a young man, he worked in a number of different professions, including teaching and preaching, but his true passion was art. Despite this, he struggled to gain recognition as a painter, and his early works were largely ignored by the art establishment. It was only in his late twenties, when he moved to Paris and began to experiment with new styles and techniques, that Van Gogh began to find his voice as an artist. In the bustling French capital, he encountered a community of like-minded artists, including the Impressionists, who were challenging traditional notions of what constituted good art. Inspired by their bold use of color and innovative techniques, Van Gogh began to develop his own unique style, characterized by thickly applied paint and vivid, expressive brushstrokes. But despite this newfound artistic freedom, Van Gogh continued to struggle with personal demons. He was prone to bouts of intense depression and anxiety, and he frequently found himself at odds with those around him. His relationship with his brother, Theo, was one of the few bright spots in his life, and the two corresponded regularly, with Theo often providing financial support to his struggling sibling. In the early 1880s, Van Gogh moved to the southern French town of Alls, where he hoped to establish a community of artists. He rented a small house, which he dubbed the Yellow House, and decorated it with bright, vibrant colors, hoping to create a space that would inspire creativity and collaboration. But his dream was short-lived, within a year, he suffered a mental breakdown and famously cut off his own ear. He was hospitalized for several months and then returned to the Yellow House, where he continued to paint, but his mental health continued to deteriorate. In 1888, Van Gogh's friend and fellow artist Paul Gauguin joined him in Alls. The two men clashed frequently, with Van Gogh's increasingly erratic behavior causing tension between them. One night, after a heated argument, Van Gogh threatened Gauguin with a razor and then turned it on himself, cutting off a large portion of his own ear. He was hospitalized once again, and Gauguin left all soon after. Over the next few years, Van Gogh's mental health continued to decline. He was hospitalized numerous times, and he frequently struggled to sell his paintings. Despite this, he continued to paint prolifically, producing some of his most famous works, including Starry Night and Sunflowers. He also continued to correspond with Theo, who continued to support him both emotionally and financially. In 1890, at the age of just 37, Van Gogh took his own life. He died from a self-inflicted gunshot wound, leaving behind a legacy of work that would inspire generations of artists to come. Today, Van Gogh is widely regarded as one of the most important artists in history. His work continues to captivate audiences around the world, and his influence can be seen in the work of countless contemporary painters. But while his art remains timeless, his life serves as a cautionary tale about the toll that mental illness and isolation can take on even the most gifted and talented among us.